Uh, well, the challenge is, you know, sci-fi mostly is fantasy. What was really attractive about this is the total reality of the situation. I think a lot of people, including myself, really responded to the character in the book that Andy wrote. And well, I think the the the, the humor and the and the way that I think us kind of mere mortals are always captivated by the way people can do this and seem to have some preternatural calm when they're in these incredibly high stress situations. And, and, and that was what was really attractive about the character, how he kept his sense of humor and, uh, and, 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 Keep this incredible logical kind of practical solve one problem at a time type of thinking and and uh and it's what these real guys can actually do it's amazing i'm sitting next to one of them so um and andy for you you talked a little bit about this before but you know i'm, I'm sort of curious what the that this journey has been you know it has been rather quick even just since the original ebook was published but now that this has already happened so what has been the journey been like for you Oh, it's been this just ridiculous, like, Cinderella story. I, I mean, like, you fantasize about these kinds of things when you're writing, but you never really think they'll come true. It's kind of like when you're a little kid playing baseball, you're like, someday I'm going to be you know, bottom of the ninth in the World Series. But right. it's like, this actually happened. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, and for Dr. Green and for, for Drew, uh, I'm, I'm kind of curious, you know, how, you know, sci-fi films like this, you know, kind of, I don't know, reflect your work at NASA and also, you know, the kind of bring it to life in a way, and what do you think that that, what, what do you think audiences can kind of take from that as well? Well, you know, science fiction is extremely important in our culture. It's um, ingrained in what we do, but it really projects a vision of the future, something that we aspire to. And what I really enjoyed about the book and the movie is how close to reality it can be. It's just around the corner for us. Um, how eager and excited are you to inspire a future generation of scientists with this movie? Well, it's funny, you know, Drew Goddard, who, who adapted uh, the screenplay, um, when I sat and talked with him, it was the first thing he said. He said, this is a, I, I want this to be a love letter to science. And, um, and I thought, and, and we had a long conversation about that and how that's a really wonderful thing to put out uh, into the world right now. And, and, and yeah, I hope, I, you know, I, I don't have you know, any lofty expectations, but I do hope that some, some kids see it and get, and, 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 and geek out on the science and enjoy it. And, 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 and maybe, maybe it's one thing in, in many other things in their life that might push them in that direction. Yeah, in fact, I was coming back from the cafeteria when our uh, public affairs official came by running around looking for me and he comes up to me and he says, uh, can you take a call with Ridley Scott at two o'clock this afternoon? And I said, the Ridley Scott? And he said, yeah. I said, sure. So I just cleared my calendar. I mean, that's, it's that easy. Tell that the studios. <laughs> I'll take my call. Uh, I think that's all the time we have. So thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.